Hello my beautiful Leo friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. We are getting started with your love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the sign of Leo. First card out of the deck, Eight of Wands. Ooh, lots of passion, Leo. <laughs> You're spending some hot nights in the whole town tonight with somebody special that you like. All of those umbrellas mean you're staying up. <laughs> Lots of wands staying up in the air. <laughs> Lots of energy there. I love it. Leo, that is Sagittarius energy. The moon card is the energy that is hidden between the two of you, you and your lover. That is Pisces, Neptune, dreamy energy, fantasies, fantasy and passion. Look at this. The way your lover views you as their soulmate, that you're both very different, but they see you as the one, and that is Gemini energy. And that's Virgo energy. So the Nine of Cups is how they see you. A, a person who loves to have fun, who's very abundant, who's very popular, somebody who's red hair. <laughs> The Nine of Cups energy is Pisces energy again. So you may be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Sag, like I said, or Gemini Virgo. All right. So how does your person feel in their heart space? Whoop, the star card. They really feel like you guys are soulmates, spiritual soulmates, physical soulmates. Okay, so let's see how your person views the situation moving forward with you, Leo. They definitely see you as the one. All right, so the Ace of Wands is also enthusiasm, communication, new beginnings, throwing caution to the winds with great passion and just a fearsome determination. Let's see what the mutual energy that's hidden between you is. Let's see, Page of Pentacles, being very practical, trying to be low-key, being very calm, cool, and collected, not getting overly anxious, you know, taking it a day at a time, little plans, baby steps, you know, but both of you want, ooh, it, this is a lot of major arcana here, too. All right, so what we have is the Justice card. So the Justice card is what Spirit is recommending. The Justice card is Libra energy. It's all about planning for the future, planning for a time when you may make this relationship one that has a legal backbone. So the Justice card rules the seventh house of marriage. So when we get Justice, we're looking at a balanced relationship, one in which there's equal give and take, one in which you're very serious about commitment, and one in which there's a deep level of love that can last a lifetime. So Spirit is saying, take this seriously because this could be the one. Let's see what your outcome card is before we clarify all these beautiful cards. This is a great reading, Leo. What is your outcome in the near future? for this reading. The Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, that's even better. The Ace of Coins is, is the engagement ring when there is the Three of Cups, which is the Bridesmaids. So the Ace of Coins is a significant offer. So you're closing out this cycle of your relationship, moving to the next level, making plans, being enthusiastic, making solid plans that you can count on. All right, so let's see what the clarifying energy is for this reading. Why do we have the Knight, excuse me, Eight of Wands? Eight of Wands, what is the clarifying energy for the Eight of Wands? What brought you into this place? Well, it looks for many of you, you work together. It looks as, as though many of you had to sneak around to have this connection, that it was one of great passion. It looks as though you fought for the connection. It looks as though both of you had other people around you whom you might have been dating, right? There was competition for both of you. And they're a little sneaking around. But look at this, the star card is coming in again. You know, when we get the star card twice, it's in your person's heart space. It really speaks to the fact that you could be a divine match, okay? So why do we have the moon here? What is hidden? There's a lot of that smoky trails, dark nights and smoky trails howling at the moon. What does this moon card represent in your mutual energy currently? 
Oh, look at, whoa, more Pisces energy for one. The Ten of Cups is a happily ever after card, marriage card. Ten of Cups, that's, I could be happy with you forever. I feel as though you've probably known each other a while and you're just entering a relationship. Look at, we have Taurus, we, excuse me, we have um, Sagittarius energy and that is, the temperance energy. Both of you really want this to work. You're both banking on it. You're also looking at things from a higher perspective, and that is a clarifier. You're hanging out as lovers. You are very happy to be in that energy. You feel like you've arrived at a place that you've wanted to be, that you've wanted to be at a long time for with this person. I think that was awfully awkward English, but you get the drift. Uh, it really speaks to the fact that you've wanted this person for a long time, you've longed for each other for a long time, and now that you're together, you're just delighted with hanging out together. Again, looking at things from a different perspective. That looks very Cirque du Soleil, doesn't it? The Ten of Wands, your partner sees you as a person who has left a lot of burdens behind. That you've gone from Ten of Wands energy in your life being overwhelmed, having to move away from something, having to have left something behind to seek your happiness. And now you have a lot of friends, you have a lot of abundance. You know, it, your person does think that you're a little bit tired of the lockdown. <laughs> it's like, when are we going to start having fun again? So it really is energy that shows that your person seems to know your history. They, I feel as though you know each other very well and you've known each other for a long time and you're just now becoming lovers. Okay, why is the star card here for your person, Leo? Why is the star card here? Ace of coins, I want to make an offer. Ace of coins, we have the ace of coins now twice. Your person wants to make a significant offer. Beautiful. That's really something of um, magnitude. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. I love it. Why is the Ace of Wands here? A new beginning. A, a really, really great new beginning. Full card energy, like children playing, you know, really looking forward to great adventures with each other. Why do we have the Page of Pentacles here? The Page of Pentacles can also represent children or messages. So what is this? A message is you're both willing to invest. You've both invested a lot already. And it looks as, as though it's been on a platonic basis. With the star card here, it looks like you've been very close, very good friends, very supportive of each other. I feel like with the moon card, you confided in each other a great deal. I feel as though you really knew the innermost workings of one another's lives. I feel as though you met at work. And the Justice card says before you can go ahead with this relationship, before you can make it grounded and bring the feet down to the earth again, that you have to handle some legal issues, or one of you does. So it does look like there could be a pending divorce or divorce that's been you know, ongoing for a period of time. Take it as it resonates. What do we have? Why do we have the Ace of Pentacles? We have it twice, too. All right collaboration. So what this really says, Leo, is that the two of you really work together beautifully. You can work through issues. It looks as though at work your relationship actually requires a lot of calm, a lot of diplomacy, a lot of negotiation. It would be like maybe if you worked for a major airline. You achieve success through this beautiful collaboration in your work environment. And so what we're seeing now is that you want that same collaboration with a passionate new beginning filled with love and excitement. So I'm going to go to the extended, and we're going to look later. We're going to flip the reading. We're going to do it from your person's perspective. So if you'd like to join me at the extended, love to see you there. If not, sending you love.